Welcome to Caseway QuickVids. This QuickVid will demonstrate Caseway Financial's cash flow worksheet feature. The worksheet is designed as a one-time setup tool to assist in the efficient and accurate preparation of the statement of cash flows. The cash flow worksheet analyzes the components of cash flows for each entity, which then adds the analysis items to a custom cash flows database for each entity. It documents the supporting calculations for each individual line item on the statement of cash flows. And it uses the totals from each cash flow analysis item in the worksheet to be included as a separate line item when preparing the statement of cash flows. The cash flows worksheet provides a standard method in balancing the statement of cash flows. It's easy to use, maps directly to the trial balance, allows direct input for items that are not available in the trial balance, rolls values forward each year, and saves time as relationships are defined for each engagement to use year on year. There are six steps to complete in the preparation and analysis of the cash flow worksheet. The first is to review the cash flow options for the engagement. Second, define the closing cash and cash equivalents. Third, determine the number of analysis items. Four, complete the analysis items. Five, name the analysis items and six, balance the cash flows worksheets. Caseware recommends the firm pre-populate the cash flows worksheet in the master template with preferred mappings and descriptions prior to distribution. This will create a firm standard and save staff time. Note that while you can copy a cash flow worksheet from the master file, you should not copy cash flow worksheets between two client files. From the document manager, the first step is to review the cash flow options for the engagement. Open the Financial Statement Options document. If the Statement of Cash Flows is selected as an area is required, select Statement of Cash Flows from the left frame. Two important items to consider here are to determine if you are presenting a direct or indirect Statement of Cash Flow. Additionally, do you show supplementary cash flow information? Select the Home button to return to the Document Manager. To access the Cash Flows worksheet from the Document Manager, Open the Statement of Cash Flows Worksheet document. Upon opening the Cash Flow Worksheet, you will notice an interface similar to the financial statements. The familiar right-click menu, template drop-downs, and buttons allow you to access numerous features. These features include sorting, adding, deleting new lines, and activities. Additionally, within the Cash Flow Worksheet, there are a number of views which will assist you while working in the worksheet. From the template menu, Select Document, select View. The Warnings and Active Items Only feature may be especially useful. Please see the help for details on all the features located within the cash flow worksheet. Currently, this worksheet is using the indirect method and is populated with some data, however, it is incomplete. To switch between methods, from the template menu, select Options, Worksheet Mode. Default is based on the options selected in the Financial Statement Options document, while the option to switch between direct and indirect is easily accessed from the worksheet directly. From the onset, you are shown valuable information. The Summary by Activity provides a summary of the individual analysis areas completed elsewhere in the cash flow worksheet. The summary serves as a compressed cash flow statement to assist in ensuring all the cash flow items are analyzed and the cash flow balances are balanced. The cash and cash equivalents components are also clearly displayed, however, currently not mapped. Completing this component is the second step to produce the cash flow worksheet. In this case, two line items will be required. Using the mapping dropdown, number 111 is selected. On the second line, map number 113 is selected. Notice the change to summary by activity. Please note, if you do not have comparative periods, you can either input directly into the prior column or directly into the working paper's trial balance. The third step is to determine the number of analysis items for each component of the cash flow, operating, investing, financing, etc. Each analysis item represents one line item on the statement of cash flows. For example, in the component operating activities, Say, for example, we require eight line items in the financial statements. Therefore, require eight analysis items in the operating activities of the cash flow worksheet. Currently, there are seven items in operating activities. To create an additional activity, 
From the template menu, select Activity and select New Activity. Select OK. Notice the new Operating Activity 8 is created. The fourth step is to analyze the item. The new analysis item is to be a taxes payable item. In this case, the analysis of the item requires the map number 217 to be selected from the mapping dropdown. Once a mapping number is selected, there are six alternative property views for the selected account. These views are A, active, AN, active negative, P, prior, PN, prior negative, D, difference, and DN, difference negative. Placing your cursor on the property displays a tooltip describing the view. This line item requires DN, which calculates the balance by reversing the sign of the difference between the active and prior year balances. Please see the help for additional details on the properties of these views. Step 5 is to provide the analysis item with a name. The name entered in this area will be the name that appears on the statement of cash flows. In this case, the analysis item will be referred to as increase, decrease, in income taxes payable. The final step, step 6, is to balance the cash flow worksheet. From the template menu, select Document, View, and select Warnings. In the current year, the worksheet is out by negative $4,250. Reviewing the cash flow worksheet, in Investing Activities component, the Proceeds on Disposal of Property, Plant and Equipment analysis item is missing two disposal line items. Right-click on the line item within the analysis. Select New Line, insert two new lines, select OK. The first line item can be mapped to 361, Gains and Losses on Disposal. The property assigned to this line is AN, which calculates the balance by reversing the active period closing balance. Notice the cash flow worksheet warning is now out by negative $3,000. The cash flow worksheet also allows you to input values where values do not exist in the trial balance. In this example, the line item is proceeds on disposal and the value of $3,000 is manually inputted into the current year. Notice the cash flow worksheet is balanced. With the worksheet balanced, opening the financial statements document, you will notice the total values and the names of the analysis items we have set up in the worksheet appear as separate line items within the statement of cash flows. Switching between the financial statements and the cash flow worksheet is quickly accessed under the bookmarks drop-down. Once the cash flow worksheet has been set up for a client file, it will become an important tool in the preparation of your statement of cash flows, saving considerable time and provide valuable assistance in correctly analyzing each component and each line with the statement of cash flows. That concludes the quick vid on the cash flow worksheet. Thank you for watching Caseway Quick Vids.